Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go over how to install new RAM, upgraded RAM into your Ready NAS device. So I've got myself here a Netgear Ready NAS 304 device. And we're gonna go over the simple steps on how to upgrade the RAM. Make sure that you've purchased your RAM and that it's gonna be suitable for this particular model. If you're not too sure, you can always take the stick out from this one, go to your computer store, and then check with them to give you a bigger stick. So currently this ship with a two gigabytes, and we're gonna put a four gigabytes inside of it. All right, so what we wanna do, we wanna turn the unit on the back, and you'll find that there are four screws, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew those four screws. So get yourself a screwdriver and just unscrew it. Without losing your screws, of course. All right, so once that's done, let's stand the unit up again. We should now be able to just slide these back. All right, so if you just push it back towards you, it just should just slide like so. And we should be able to just remove that itself. Like that. And the same on the other side. Okay, doesn't need to come off completely. All we're gonna do here is expose four additional screws on the top of the unit. Okay, and these four screws will then loosen this, which we can slide back and the RAM sits under there. Easy if you've got a screwdriver that has a magnetic a magnet on it, so you can just pick up the screws nice and easily. Okay, now slide that back, nice and easy, and there is your RAM. Okay, so the RAM just sits there on the top. You'll have two little clips that we just push. Oops, and the RAM should come straight out. Okay, so that is the RAM. So two gig stick of RAM and we're gonna upgrade that with a four gig. So I've got my four gig stick, insert it the same way, make sure that the lines line up to here. And we're just gonna click it in and then push it down, like so. And then you're essentially doing the reverse. Now we're assembling it again, so we're putting this in first, screwing it back together. I won't, I won't bore you with this. And then you just slide that back in, screw it in, slide that back in, screw it in. Power on your unit. If the unit powers on and you're able to access it, looks like you're pretty good to go. You can also check to make sure that you do have a four gig stick by logging into the unit via SSH. So if you have SSH enabled, you can log in. And then there's a simple Unix command. You can actually see if the RAM is detected there and it should say four gig. A eight gig won't run on it, so go, go for a four gig and it'll speed it up a little bit, which is great. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and visit my website, www.digitalbytecomputing.com for more videos.